As the Earth's ice melts and the sea levels rise, cities along the coast are considering ways to hold back the rising waters. But a new government study predicts that many of our state's most iconic beaches are in danger of disappearing. As John Remus shows us, some of the most popular spots are at risk of seeing these effects. We've been warned for years about the effects of sea level rise, and it's already happening here in Santa Cruz. But the new study uses satellite imagery to predict the likely impacts on beaches and communities along the entire California coastline. As he takes one of his regular walks along the Santa Cruz coastline, Pat Terralt says the evidence of climate change is there for everyone to see. It's a little bit more severe this year than it was uh, previous years, but yeah, I can see that uh, People are going to have to start worrying a little bit more about what's going on. West Cliff Drive was battered by a massive storm on January 5th. UC Santa Cruz Earth Sciences professor Gary Griggs says 27-foot waves rose up over the cliffs, flooding the street and eroding the natural seawall. West Cliff Drive here in Santa Cruz was hammered. I've been here for 55 years. I've never seen anything like that here. For years, the city has been placing giant boulders to try to stave off nature's onslaught. But a new study from the U.S. Geological Survey says places like West Cliff Drive are probably doomed. Researchers used 20 years of satellite images of Ocean Beach in San Francisco to form models of what would happen if the sea rises from half a meter to three meters in height. The study concludes that, quote, by 2100, the model estimates that 25 to 70 percent of California's beaches may become completely eroded due to sea level rise of 0.5 to 3 meters, respectively. That includes some of the state's most iconic beaches like Stinson, Santa Monica, Newport Beach, and Morro Bay. In San Francisco, the green lines show how far the coastline may push into the city at Ocean Beach. The writing is on the wall. Climate's going to continue to change. It's getting warmer. We haven't done too much to slow it down. So it's giving us sort of a warning flag. You know, we keep going where we're going. This is what's going to happen. Griggs says during the last ice age, the coastline was 10 miles farther out. As the Earth's ice continues to melt, there's not much we can do to stop it. Building seawalls will work for a while, but the blocked water will inundate all the beaches. And eventually, even that will be no match for the power of the ocean. And the long-term solution is whatever we call it. It's managed retreat, realignment, stepping back. Pat Terralt wonders if the people on West Cliff Drive are already getting that message. I see the one house is for sale down there. It wasn't for sale before, so I'm wondering if they're getting out because of the, the uh, climate or the erosion and stuff. Eventually, California communities will have to offer up more land to the sea, especially if they ever want their grandchildren to be able to play at the beach. Now, the year 2100 may seem like a long way off, but the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says the West Coast could see a sea level rise of eight inches in the next 25 years, and that could have a profound impact on seaside communities like Santa Cruz.